Hello everyone, I am Teacher Will and for today's video lesson, we will learn about general annuity. Sa video ito, aalamin natin kung ano nga ba ang general annuity, anong pinagkaiba nito sa simple annuity, at kung paano computein or paano hanapin ang future value at present value ng general annuity. So let's start with the definition of general annuity. General annuity is an annuity where the payment interval is not the same as the interest period. As you can see, kapag sinabi natin general annuity, magkaiba ang payment interval sa interest period. Unlike sa simple annuity na dinaskas natin na nakaraan, na parehas ang payment interval sa interest period. Halimbawa ng general annuity, monthly ang ating payment interval. So, ang, magi, ang interest period naman ay annually or once a year. So, magkaiba siya. Unlike sa simple annuity, monthly ang payment interval natin, monthly din ang interest period. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's have some examples of general annuity. First, monthly installment payment of a car with an interest rate that is compounded annually. So, kung titignan natin, ang payment interval natin ay monthly. While our interest period is compounded annually. So, magkaiba siya. Second, paying a debt sa aming annually when the interest is compounded monthly. Kung kikita natin, magbabayad tayo ng debt or yung utang sa may annually every 6 months. While the interest naman is compounded monthly. One one naman ang interest natin. So, magkaiba din siya. On our lesson, mag-focus tayo sa general ordinary annuity. Kung matatandaan natin, kapag sinabi natin ordinary annuity, ang regular payment natin is always at the end of the payment interval. So, ganun din ang general ordinary annuity natin. It is a general annuity in which the periodic payment or the regular payment is made at the end of the payment interval. Halimbawa, ang payment interval natin is quarterly, so ang pagbabayad po ay every at the end of every three at the end of three months. Ayan, so dahil alam na natin ang basic uh, basic concepts about general annuity, let's proceed naman on how we find or compute for the future value and present value of general annuity. The formula to compute for the future value of general annuity, or F, is R times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 all over J. While the formula to compute for the present value of general annuity, or P, is R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative N all over J. Wherein our R here is the regular payment, J is the equivalent interest rate per payment interval which will be converted from the interest period rate, and N is the number of payments. So kung maaalala natin from our previous lesson, N, will, uh, N is the M times T or the payment interval times the time in years. Para mas maintindihan natin, we will have an example of to compute for the future value and to compute for the present value of general annuity. Let's open our book on page 184 for example number 1. Example number 1, Mel started to deposit 1,000 pesos monthly in a fund that pays 6% compounded quarterly. How much will be in the fund after 15 years? So, ang pinakaunang step kailangan natin gawin is to identify what are the given in the problem. So, itong 1,000 na to, ano kaya itong 1,000 na to? So, kung mapapansin nyo, we, uh, Mel will deposit monthly 1,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, itong 1,000 pesos na to, ito yung regular payment natin. So, given R is equal to 1,000. Next. So, again, monthly daw siyang babayaran. 
So, our M is equal to 12. So, ibig sabihin, 12 times a year siya magpabayad. Ano tong 6% na to? So, 6% is our interest rate. Compound interest rate, actually. That is 6% or 0 0.06. And again, is compounded quarterly. Let's say, ito na lang M sub 1, then we have M sub 2. Quarterly, ibig sabihin, 4 times a year. So, that is equal to 4. And how much will be in the fund after 15 years? So, our time in years is 15. So, these are the given. So, next step is to get the J. Hanapin natin ngayon ang J. So, that is the equivalent interest rate. Since the payment is monthly, the 6% compounded quarterly must be converted to its equivalent interest rate that is compounded monthly. So, ano natin gagawin yun? Let's... Okay, so step 2, convert natin yung 6% compounded quarterly. So, we will use the formula for the future value, F sub 1 and F sub 2. So, F sub 1 will be the payment interval which is monthly. And yung F sub 2 naman will be our interest period, which is quarterly. So we will have 1 plus R over M raised to M equals to 1 plus R over M raised to M. So dito muna tayo sa ating payment interval. So we will have 1 plus, wala pa tayong rate, yun nga yung hahanapin natin yung equivalent rate natin. Ang M natin is 12, tama? 12. 12 times a year. So, raised to 12. While, dito naman sa ating interest period, we have 1 plus, ang rate natin is 6%. Diba? Sabi natin kanina, 6%, that is 0 0.06 all over ang M natin. Quarterly, that will be over 4, raised to 4. So, kumpitin natin itong nandito. So, we will have 1 plus 0 0.06. Ito. Kumpitin natin itong nasa loob na ito. Okay? So, that will give us 1.015. So, we have 1 plus R over 12 raised to 12 is equal to 1.015 raised to 4. Okay, so since ang goal natin ay hanapin yung equivalent rate o yung itong ating R over 12 natin, kailangan natin tanggalin ito. So paano yun? Erase natin sa 1 over 12. So ang makakalabasan na ay 1 plus R over 12 na lang. Natin. So, because so 12 times 1 over 12, that will give us 12 over 12 equals to 1. So raise to 1 na siya. Na. Well, here we have... 1.015 raised to 1 half. Ay, 1 half. 1 over 12. Using addition property of equality, let's um, add both sides by negative 1. We will have R over 12 is equal to 1.015 raised to 4 raised to 1 over 12 minus 1. So, ito, compute na natin sa ating uh, calculator. Then, kung ano ang lalabas, that is uh, already our J. Yan na yung ating J. Okay? Ayan. So, ano yung nakuha ninyo? Burahin na natin ito dahil hindi na kasha. So, ang ating J, ating J is equal to point zero zero four nine seven five twenty one so yeah. kunin na natin hanggang walong digit para mas accurate yung magiging computation natin for our future value so next naman natin computing natin kung ano yung m natin again that is m times t where m is the payment interval and the t is the time in years so ang payment interval natin is 12 times a year tama Times, ang time naman natin, sabi nga natin kanina, how much will be the fund at the end of 15 years. So, ang time natin is 15. So, that will give us 12 times 15, 180. 
that is 150. So, meron na tayong J, meron na tayong N, and again, ang R natin, recall lang natin, ang R natin is 1,000 monthly, di ba? So, we will use now the formula to compute for the future value of general annuity. So, we have, okay, step 3 na tayo. We have F is equal to R times quantity of 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 all over J. So, substitute lang natin yung mga ating values. We have 1,000 times, okay, so yeah, times the quantity of 1 plus our J is 0 0.00497521 raised to 180 minus 1 and all over 0.00497521. So, ilagay lang natin, sa input lang natin lahat sa calculator yan. Ayan, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano. So, we have 1,000 times um, over, that is, quantity of 1 plus 0 0.00497521 raised to 180 minus 1 all over 0 0.00497521 again so that is equal to again so ang future value na natin 290,082.51 again we are talking about money so that is 290,000 82 pesos and 51 cents. So, ito yung magiging future value or yung magiging laman ng fund ni Mel in um, 15 years. 290,082 pesos and 51 cents. Alright, so that's it. We will have more example on the next video.